Yo, what's up guys? You've got Lightning here, back at you guys with another video. <clears throat> uh, today we're versing Rumble in the top lane. Um, first of all, I thought I was versing Rington, so I took, I think I took Iron Skin as my uh, res Resolve uh, rune in the secondary tree. Now the Rennington is actually ranked 2 OCE uh, challenger, so I was quite excited to verse him. I won't lie, because you know, uh, you know, you always want to test your skills out against you know such a high ranked player. But unfortunately, I'm, I'm versing Rumble. <clears throat> now, this was actually going to be a live gameplay commentary, but I recorded the whole game and the commentary, and then I was really excited about versing Rennington, and then I saw Rumble come to lane. And I was like, oh, what the hell? And then. And then after the game was finished, I went to export the audio for the commentary and my fucking microphone was off, so <laughs> oh, I derped so hard. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to try and uh, go over it anyway because I think it was a pretty good game. Um, <clears throat> and also, if, I've noticed a few things about uh, runes which I want to quickly mention. Now, with the with the new runes, you know how you'd go... Um, like put magic resist in your in your runes, right? Um, either flat or scaling. Now, with the new runes, you can't. The only magic resist you get is five magic resist from that uh, magic rune from the resolve tree, and that's it. So, and everyone's armor got buffed to compensate for, um, you know, not having armor runes and that sort of thing. But no one got an, a magic resist buff. So I feel like. Um, Champions, especially in the top lane, like Rumble, Swain, um, <clears throat> Ken, and those sorts of champions, really, um, really hurt now, especially early in the game. Like um, how this guy's constantly able to beat on me, and the, he's able to put out a lot more damage than me because he's got extra armor, but I don't have any extra magic resist. So, in a sense, it kind of seems unfair, but I'm not so sure how they managed to balance that out with the, you know, buffing the armor and, and not buffing them any magic resists. And also in your runes, you know, you, you, you can't get a lot of magic resists, so that's... I don't quite know how they managed to come to that sort of, um, you know, decision with the runes, but um, nevertheless, so I just got to avoid Rumble early on, I think, um, which is sort of what I did. I tried to fight him a couple times, but... But nothing really seemed to... I, I couldn't really get the damage, because he's got that um, arcane comet thing. Missed my Q there. At this, at this point I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get some damage on this guy. And then just Q back, but then I missed my Q in the first place. So, he's able to just keep laying damage on me like crazy. So I'm just trying to get the CS that I can, and then eventually I'll go back and get some items. Because I think early levels, especially versus like a rumble, um, he just... His damage output is too much, and you can't really go in him, uh, you know, when he's got minions with him and things like that, because you just can't put enough damage out while he, you know, you've got less magic resist than normal. Um, so he does quite a lot of damage early. So even now, like, he just puts out all this damage, and I had to flash. Unfortunate, but, you know, that's the game. It's all about testing out damage and just testing, um, testing his urines. So, you know, there's going to be a few mistakes made and things like that, but it's all about learning, you know. Uh, we're learning a whole new system we have to work out whole all of these uh, you know new damage spikes and things like that so you know it's just it's just a learning curve so that's fine so I'm, he's pushing it into me i'm trying to back but then um i think i decided to stay yeah i was like yeah i really want to stay and try and get these um get this last wave so just get that creep get that creep and i'm not going to try and get every creep just the creeps that he sort of lets me get and then the right, the wave will reset, and I'll be able to back that one, and I missed that one. So then we can back. So that's enough for Sheen. Oh, oh, Chogarth comes, and then I try and back. He's level six. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. This isn't ideal. Arcane Comet, baby. The Arcane Comet's so weird. Like he places the ability, it hits me, and then the Arcane Comet hits me in a total different spot. Almost seems unfair, but. Um, that's fine, we'll just accept it and then move on. Now if we look at their team comp, they've got uh, they got Rumble, Chogarth, and then Renekton in the mid lane. And then Kate and Braum. So I think I'll opt to go for a Wits end here. So getting this uh, the early magic resist in the Doran's Blade. And um, that should give me a really good 1v1 versus uh, Rumble. But also Chogarth, I noticed uh, when he ganked he was uh, only like level 3 or something. So um, it's going to be a while until he gets like strong with his uh, feast stacks and things like that. So. I think this is the best chance for me to 
<laughs> sorry, excuse me, have a really strong 1v1 build um, against him. I think you just need that early magic resist. Because if you don't get it, you're so you're so squishy. I guess it doesn't help that I took iron skin rather than uh, oh actually no did I take uh, did I take precision domination I can't actually remember. We'll find out. But anyway, um, so I'm waiting from deep back to lane. I'm just gonna slow push it in so there he is in the bush. Slow push and then when the next wave comes, I'm gonna probably hard push it. Get some damage on him right there. I think I out damage him here. Get the old on him. Force him out. Forces flash. Brilliant. His ult's on the cooldown, mine wasn't, so good time to go all in. Ideally, I would have wanted to sort of get some damage on him and then all in him again. But in this situation, um, I've got a massive wave pushing. He's got no flash, no ult, so I can um, probably get him under tower. He attacked me with all these minions, so I get a free kill on him. I don't think he really expected me to um, get that kill on him, but um, I, I, knew, I knew my limits on my champion probably better than he does, so I was able to get that kill. So that's good. So... I don't think he used TP before, so he's, i got to try and push this in as fast as I can and then just I get to have another free back. What I might do, guys, is um, just fast forward a bit, skip through a little bit, because, um, yeah, I don't want to bore you guys with the boring bits, right? Okay, so back in lane. So I backed, came straight back to lane. Where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah, if this was on a replay, I'd be doing the same thing anyway, so I might as well just skip through, like, um, you know, if it's if it's just me backing, I might as well, um, you know, skip back to when I get back to lane where there's actually something to talk about. So Rumble's missing. Uh, he's back now. So at this point, um, I think I can fight this guy. So he makes a mistake by walking a bit too close. And get some down. I probably shouldn't have wasted the ult. You know, I really hate press the attack because it has to be three consecutive basic attacks, right? So if your stun doesn't count, so you've got to get three so you, you can stun auto auto and then you have to queue and that's the three that's the three uh what do you call it sorry um base auto attacks and then after that that's when you get your damage increase so i think a new combo for aurelia could be you know uh, ease for the stun and then auto auto queue into well while you're ulting and just for a quick you know burst combo even if you don't um you know save your queue for the gap close at least you get the 12 percent extra damage otherwise Running more attack speed on Aurelia could help as well. Like, um, maybe rushing it like a Stinger rather than a Sheen or something like that. I don't know. There's a few different things that can happen, but Presti attack feels kind of awkward, and then Lethal Tempo also feels kind of awkward because, you know, you can't, like, uh, what's the word? Like, when you, after you stun them, they start running away, so you, all your attack speed is just wasted. That's what it feels like, anyway. Just skip forward a little bit, guys. So I find these new runes kind of awkward on Aurelia. I, I like press the attack, but like I said, you've got to get the three consecutive auto attacks on them to get the damage increase. And then you've got to you know, do more damage to them to try and um, <clears throat> you know deal damage with the amplification. Uh, he switched directions there, it was really weird, but that's okay. Still got the kill. Timo didn't get a lot of damage on that guy. That was mostly me, so that's good. I know I'm really ahead of this guy. So I've got my wits end already, it's only 11 minutes into the game. Well I could have quite a lot more gold, but since he pressured me earlier I lost quite a lot of CS. But that's okay. I think I did. now's the right time to sort of pressure the tower. I really wish I was versing Renekton to man, because you know, to versa, to versa rank 2 um, you know, player in, in, your, in your server is... It would be quite good to see what they do, the things they do, how they go about winning the lane. And the thing from the from you know what how I would go about you know trying to win the lane or survive or whatever you know. But unfortunately, you know I didn't get to have that that dream, but it's okay. So he's he's not able to snowball versus Zed very well because as long as as long as Zed doesn't waste his W in lane, he can always get away. So <laughs> uh, kind of sucks for Renekton really. I really wanted to mid. Yeah, I'm even telling this guy I'll mid. But uh, he runs back to he run he runs back to mid, and I'm like, what? Okay then. So I think yeah. So I run bot. So we're running to bot, and I don't see the jungle anywhere. Chogun's probably farming in the jungle. Well, these guys jump into a fight. Perfect timing, really. I, I think because um, Timo's there, and I'm on my way. So get the re get the minion reset, get a kill. So you know. 
textbook textbook combos that they really you know they they initiated nice and early and then i was able to <coughs> um jump in and snag that kill off them and then zed's pingy is going back to top that's good i'm like i got mid i want that mid renexon's here straight on the teemo is where we're going to destroy the teemo i've realized at this point that i probably can't kill renekton um at, at this point in time but it's okay Does he get slowed? Oh, I didn't get slowed. I could probably kill these guys if I went in. Do I go in? That's so close because I got stunned on the um oh, oh. So now I got my wits end going. Can I kill this guy? Oh he flashed. Perfect time for me to just get out. Oh do I get out? Oh so close. <laughs> oh well. You know, sometimes you gotta do things like that to to try and make that montage play, but that's alright. <laughs> I think I was dead either way. Not too sure what these guys were doing. Timo was like sitting in the bush, like trolling, waiting for someone to pop through it or something. <laughs> so troll. Uh, Zed rotates. He got the top tower. He rotates back to mid. I guess we took all their attention off. Uh, we took their whole team's attention. So he was able to just keep pushing straight down that top, top lane. Still got my TP up. Can't forget about that. Wait for the tri uh the wits end first, right? So still got my triforce um to to build and then I'll be a bit squishy, but I think after that, um I'm sort of forced to get a really defensive item but since I went the wits end into triforce build. <coughs> but wits end is just a really cheap uh early game item or a situational item depending on their team comp that you know can I, well either oh we got a one v one. Q reset in the minion. Keep attacking with press the attack. He's got the aftershock mastery on. Probably not the best for Renekton. So I try and get all my combos on. Out trade him, make him waste all his fury. He's still gaining fury because his ult. It flashes on me for his combo. Doesn't kill me. That's a mistake from him. And I win the trade. Win the 1v1. First rank 2. Oh, I typed it. That's a bit embarrassing. Nah, fuck it. That's not embarrassing. Who cares? Just gotta get in their heads, you know. It wasn't a ranked game, but I just wanted to fuck with them because it's yeah, it's just fun. You type something like that, or you, or you know, you type like easy after a kill, and, and like, or you spam your emotes or whatever. People, it tilts the hell out of people. Eh? It's kind of funny, but um, anyway, so we're pushing down this lane here. Oh man, I keep I keep yawning. It's like late at night on on Saturday. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to check my lotto ticket. So what's the time? It's 10.30. I don't know if anyone won the lotto in my country, but I'm going to check it right now while I'm walking back to mid lane. You guys ready for the moment of truth? Let it load. Let's let it load. Oh, I've got a ticket in the drawer. Oh, I want a bonus ticket, guys. That's good, that's good. Next ticket. Oh, nothing on my bonus ticket. What do I get on my main ticket? Oh, okay, I just want a bonus ticket, guys. That's alright. Tried to win the 30 million. Didn't get there. So at least you guys could have been a witness to something great. Unfortunately, you didn't win. But that's okay. Anyway, so we've gone back to mid lane. Pushed that out. You can see Rumble's behind me in the jungle, so I'm going straight for the Kate. I want to kill the ADC. Boom. Burst, burst, burst. So cool, man. I think I don't think these guys can kill me at all, really, can they? If I keep attacking the Braum, which I did... Oh, I missed him. Oh, shit. Well, I think we just were stealing the MR. You know, they, they can't kill me. Oh, my God. This is su suicidal as, man. I got hit by that, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, we did. Okay, bad decision, guys. That's just being greedy and going for kills, you know. Oh, yeah, he, <laughs> he types back to be a smartass. Anyway, so we spawn with TP to back to the top. Straight back to the top lane. Get a kill there. And then I think, was it Ranks in the TP in? Yeah, he TP'd in. He's chasing his head. I'm like, uh, I don't want anything to do with that. I'm just going to go straight back to the top, push it in. Let's see, we go pushing top and they all chase them to mid lane, so I get to free push this all the way to tower. And while bot lane is, you know, in bot getting that tower, 
Um, you know, Cho'Gath won't be able to stop them, so I'm not too worried about them. Renekton's top. I, he's the he's the main champion that I care about because he's the only one that's going to really properly engage. Oh, uh, Braum and Cho'Gath can engage, but I feel like Renekton can really chase them down and, and get that stun and with the damage and stuff like that. So as long as Renekton's up here, that's fine. I, I've sort of been, you know, trying to scope out the Renekton the whole game. Um, yeah, I guess because he's high rank. But, you know, you always want to test your skills out with someone higher rank than you, right? But at this point in the game, I've, like, outscaled him. Uh, nothing he can do to really win a fight versus me right now. Unless he somehow, like, went full lethality and, and like, one-shot me, but that won't happen. Just waiting for him. Just trying to feel out the map, see what they, where they're going to go. So Brom came to ward up, so he knows I'm here now. So I either have to move around and avoid that ward. Uh, looks like I do it. I'm not sure if they saw me. I don't think they did. But I go sit in the bush and we see a Frank if, if Rumble, sorry, is gonna push right up. Notice how their other team is, is or the rest of the, his team is in mid lane, and we see Rumble rotating down uh, along with the said, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I should be pushing this out or running down to mid. I feel like I should have run down to mid. Because even pushing this, even if we hit the tower, um, they basically killed my whole team. <laughs> so even if we get a top tower, it's not really worth. But, you know, I've made the decision and I've got to live with it. So, um, oh, Timo gets a kill. So that's not too bad. At least they killed, um, did, didn't he kill the ADC? Oh, sorry, he killed Rumble. But I still get to, I still get a tower at least. But, I mean, they got four kills and they're going to get a tower. So it's really, like, really not worth it all. But, you know, it, it's... I just got to make the best of a bad situation in this case. And whether I keep on pushing or not is, is up to me, but I can't see them pushing. Yeah, they've already backed, so I back in this bush. Now, I'm really surprised Brom didn't, like, chuck a Q into the bush or something because, you know, most people back in that bush. If they, they push out top lane and then back off and they'll back in that bush. So if you guys are in a situation where, um, you know, someone was just pushing in the wave and then you, you, you meet the wave, you know, just check that bush. Because they, the chances are they could be backing in there. They could be low health, low mana. And you, know, you, you can catch them off guard quite easily anyway. So now my, I don't have my TP up. So I want to stick on top side around the Baron. I'm not too worried about a Cloud Dragon. So I, I just want to stick up top for another couple of minutes. And then I will most likely rotate the bot uh, with my TP. Now I really want to fight the Renekton. That's all I want to do. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to get to right now. I really wish I got to verse that guy. Yeah, I'm gutted I didn't get to verse him. I was so surprised. Um, like, when I was doing the live game commentary, I was like... I was like, yeah, I've got another video. I'm versing Renekton. And then I was like, oh, what? There's a bloody rumble in the top lane. Pretty, pretty gutting, but I mean, that's okay. Any yeah, Ren Renekton's here. I, my W's up in two seconds, so that's when I want to go in. Bomb son. Getting that attack speed. I think they will collapse on me here. There's not much I can do. That's the price I pay for... Oh, got the flash. Rumble's coming. <laughs> Pretty fucked here. You know, what, what do you do? You just want to fight and then you pay the ultimate price, right? So, um, in hindsight, you know, I mean, I bought three of them top and then three of my team is bought. They can get this tower. Force to Cho'Gath TP. Uh, Timo's doing Timo things. That's fine. Um, so, you know, I mean, my death was bad, but I mean, it could have been worse. I think I actually died too many times here. Way too many times. But, you know, in saying that, my TP's up in 23 seconds. That's when I really want to go bot side. Um, to have that TP threat of the, uh, for the Baron. That's when we'll see, you know, who throws the game first. <laughs> Whether we throw in a Baron or they do. Anyway, I'll skip this. Okay, so I'm TPing to the tower. I was like, yeah, I can I can definitely defend. Did I flash there? Oh no, I TP, sorry. It looks like I'm dead, but I somehow, somehow managed to catch that girl. If she kept going straight, I think she would have got away and I would have died. I think. I'm trying to use all my abilities to um, heal off the Renekton. Even my Q, oh. If my W came back, might have been close. Might have, might have been close. 
we'll see. But I mean, that was kind of cool. I mean, kill two, um, you know, took a lot of ranks in this time, gave my team enough chance to, to get that mid tower. I think they get it. Oh, well, they should bloody get it. Yeah, they get it. Okay. So we died again. We, you know, we've died a lot of times this game, but you know, it's all about testing your runes out, testing the damage, um, and and just seeing different power spikes during the during the like the laning phase, the mid game, and then the late game, right? <clears throat> but I feel like I feel like the new runes give you Aurelia quite a good late game. It's not. It doesn't feel too bad. I don't think it's brilliant or anything, but I don't think it's bad. Is she gonna die? She dies here. There's no way she kills Kate. Oh, she does. Okay. Well, that's good. Now I'm in an awkward spot. Since I TP'd earlier, um, I don't have TP now, so my whole team's going to die. Well, no, sorry. Zed Z and team are alive. But, you know, my bot lane dies. I mean, it sucks, but... It looks like they're going to make a mad dash for Baron now. It's so obvious they're going for Baron. They're all, like, running in a group. But they, they're heading towards Baron. It's so obvious, but... Yeah, there they are. So what do we do? What do we do? I mean, I think the obvious thing is just to try and delay... We have the jungle pressure, but Zed, I think, I think Zed needs to kill like Cho or Rumble. That's the main thing. If we can just keep them in the pit. Oh, Rennington ults. So he ain't going to die anytime soon. Timo gets absolutely dumpstered. Zed doesn't even ult. He has ult. I, I thought he was going to ult. Like, I don't know. If this, feel, this feels really weird because he could have just like popped the Rumble and then they've got no damage to kill Baron. So it feels, it feels really weird that he just didn't ult. Oh, yeah, I even pointed out that he has an ult. And now he goes in, like... <laughs> exhaust? Does he... Oh my god, he fucking died. Honestly, if... <laughs> yeah, lol. If he went in and, like, popped the rumble off on the Baron pit, and then, like, just went back out, he, he would have lived. Like, if he went in when I went in, he would have lived. Because after, you know, when it's Braum and Rennington, what are they going to do? They're not going to kill Baron. Oh well. That's okay. So we ended up killing them anyway. Zaya and Rakan came back in time. Now they get a free push on the mid tower because three of their teams did. So it kind of worked out in our favor. I mean, not it wasn't ideal, but I mean, I died yet again. So that was really bad. But Anyway, let's talk about my build. So I thought I was going to have to be more tanky, but it turns out that was not the case. So I went for the Sterox. Uh, sorry, Sterox and looks like next will be the uh, Black Cleaver, mostly for Reddington and Cho'Gath and Braum. So just taking into account that they are all sort of tanky and I need to shred some of their armor and to do a bit more damage to them. <coughs> and Black Cleaver is 100% uh, uh, gold efficient without the Phage passive. Fucking Zed, man, he stole my blue buff. Why does he need blue for? But you suck. Yeah, I'm, I'm salty as man, like so salty about that he stole it. But anyway, so the Black Cleaver build is just uh, if they have a lot of tanky team members. <coughs> uh, just trying to create pressure. Kill the Gromp. Take the gold away from them. If they don't get the Gromp, that's, that's you know, um, 86 gold that they do not get, so. Uh, it looks like we can kill this one. Well, he wants to go in, so I'm like, okay, we'll have it your way. We should better just... Braum's, um, uh, shield, man, it totally fucks all my damage up. My ult just goes away. <laughs> Sucks, but oh well. Uh, looks like my team's getting dragging. Uh, this is not a good situation for me to be in, I don't think. Oh, look at that engage, man. Learning from the Ar Aurelia carries you, bloody, you know, one minute tips, eh? You know, just flashing, flash E for the engage. Thanks, I see you. You're, the, you're a boss, man. <laughs> uh, three of us versus Rennington. I think he loses that. TP straight back in. Keep the pressure up. We could probably end here. So I don't have, like, a hell of a lot of kills, but I have a lot of death. That's one thing to really notice. I have a lot of deaths. And at least three of my deaths happened, uh, you know, when I was sort of split pushing in one of the side lanes. So that's one thing. Um, if you have the same problem as me, I know one of my bad points in this game is um, definitely that I that I get caught too much in the side lanes. So, you know, you can take something away from this and just think, okay, I, I die in the side lanes as well. You know, maybe I, I need to 
work on my gameplay and, and not get caught on those sidelines all the time. But you know, you know it happens, right? So you just gotta try and learn from it, try and work out how to how to not get caught all the time, and then, or especially in the sidelines, um, you know, not get dove by all their team and, and then die. So that's one thing that I'll be working on. You guys might have a different uh, situation where you know you struggle in the laning phase or something like that. Oh, got the stun on her, into the Rakan stun, or oh, knockup rather. Sorry. These guys can't really kill us. I mean, with the Braum, Braum is annoying. Um, same with Chogar, but they can't really kill us. Even with all those minions. If I just keep attacking, I'll be gaining health and then, um, you know, doing more damage over time. So, stall until my W comes back up and then go straight back in. He thought I was going to keep running, but um, I turned on him. Even though Rumble's altered, I'm still strong enough. There we go. Got him. So, you just got to out-sustain him and then, you know... If, if, if the only damage threat he has to you is the, the ult, then you're pretty, you're pretty good. You're in a pretty good spot. That was a bit risky. Yeah, he's got the Leandries. It really it really hurts, even if I do have a wit's end. Rumble ult. Timo's got that Runans going. Get the Renekton. in. Straight back in for the cake. Get that GA popped. Shouldn't he just bought it too? Poor bloody person, man. Feel for her. Kill the cake. Probably want to stun. I got no mana. At this point, you just got to auto attack. What else can you do, right? You just got to auto attack and hope for the best. So that that was a pretty good, you know, um, end of the game sort of thing, I, I suppose. Oh, is this even the end? I don't know if we end here or not. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. Hopefully, Zaya can really carry the the end of the game. I'm on such low health that I can just stun anyone and, and, and get a good stun on them. The bloody crit um, team of jungle. Crazy. Didn't get this done. He's dead anyway. Uh, yeah, I think we just end the game here. So all in all, you know, it wasn't a it wasn't a bad game. I thought I was versing the rank two bloody OCE, but um, unfortunately I wasn't. I was hoping to verse you, dude. Whatever your name was, um, if you watch this or if you some one of your friends watches it, you know, I was hoping to verse you, but um, unfortunately that wasn't the case. So anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, I hope you liked it, you know, just a different take. Unfortunately, I derped so hard and lost all the audio because my mic was turned off. Uh, so I wasn't able to get this video back to you guys in a live sort of environment. But, you know, it's a little bit of fun and I'll probably make another video in the next week or, well, hopefully this week uh, regarding runes and my thoughts on the new runes that I'm using at the moment with the Relia. Probably dom uh, precision with domination and precision with resolve. That's what I'm using. Uh, most of the time from now on anyway. I've tried electrocute, um, didn't like it, um, so I probably won't be using that. But anyway guys, if you like that video, check, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and like the video. Uh, that means a lot, you know, um, keeps me motivated to make some more videos. But um, yeah, um, I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Yeah.